How to be a girl. Being a girl is not easy. Become a woman too is not easy. Sometimes it's difficult, sometimes it's fantastic. When a girl begins her period, it's, it's something to celebrate in the tradition. When a girl announces it or the mother knows that she started it, it is a, it is a cause for celebration because nothing is prized more than life here. I mean, you know, the importance of reproducing, of having children is just, you know, astronomical. When you are in an age like 17, 16, we have some rights to move you from childhood to adulthood. Oh, We do it knowing that it's a ritual that carries symbolic significance because it's part of our heritage, part of our tradition, and it's a symbolic ceremony in which we participate to say, I'm, I'm part of this community. Loko Hoba, Wamamu Sowa, Wamamu Nesoni, Noaka and Maya Ten, Cabrinia Bakwenya here, or Pet Noko Bin. There is a flat stone which the girls are made to sit on, and it's strongly connected with notions of the girl's fertility. And it's said that at this point, if a girl is pregnant, the deity will expose her. When you sit on the work, you have to sit on the work seven times. And if you sit on the rock and you are stuck on the rock, that means you are not a virgin. So if you sit on the rock and you can stand up, that means you are fully a virgin. Menstruation is the marker that shows that a girl is ready for depot. I don't know when it began, this putting very young girls through it, but traditionally, I don't think a girl would be put through depot until her period began. That was the, the sign. People go through that ritual too young, and it's, no, it's never good because if you send your child like at the age of five years, you mean that girl is going to get married after that ritual, and it's no good crap. It's no good. Depot is quite an expense for a family. And what tends to happen is that they will get as many girls within the extended family as possible to go through it at once so that they don't have to perform it several times. Traditionally, the consequences of a girl losing her virginity before depot 
were quite grave. Her family would have to pay for the cleansing of the shrine and so forth because she would be seen to have defiled it. So if you put a girl who hasn't even reached puberty through depot, you're not running as high a risk that she might secretly have lost her virginity or be concealing a pregnancy. The depot trains a young girl who has gone through puberty for her duties as a woman. And it says, okay, everybody come and celebrate that she has graduated, as it were. She's graduated from her training and she's also graduated from girlhood to womanhood. The girl is then adorned to show that she's new girl, that she's ready for marriage. And the family brings out its wealth in beads and in cloth and in jewelry to adorn her at that time. We had a lot of beads for me my waist, my hands, my legs. And the girl is so celebrated. If there's any time a girl's gonna feel like a princess, it's during her depot. <laughs> What I think is special about Depot is that it is one of the most intact puberty rights of passage to have survived in Ghana. And I think that's, that's a historical treasure, actually. It's a reminder of, of you know, our history and, and where we come from. I was really, really happy. I feel like I'm like a princess. I am very, very happy and I feel like a very proud young woman.